Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What are you fucking sick of? Ads. It's an abusive amount. A second by second onslaught of marketing, invading your personal space and every aspect of life. I resent ads. The nanosecond Google said ad blockers are going to stop working on Chrome by uninstalled it and went back to Firefox. People treating each other like shit. I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. Quote. John Coffey deserved better sad face. Littering. It's pure laziness. Put it in your pocket, bag, whatever, just bin it when you can. I hear you. I live in Canada, and everywhere I go, there are red Tim Hortons coffee cups all over the ground. Everywhere. Tim's cups and used masks around here. It's like a plague. Surviving instead of thriving. Fellow 9 to 5 er. What if I'm 10 to 10 er and I hate it? Being drowsy all the fucking time. Do you have sleep apnea? Fun fact. I got my sleep apnea diagnosed thanks to Reddit and a similar post like this. Had been drowsy for many years but my doctor just kept taking blood tests and said that it's simply just the way I am. After reading about the symptoms on Reddit, I had never heard about it before. I asked my doctor if she shouldn't test me for it. And she did and I got diagnosed with it and have felt much better after getting my CPAP machine. Totally. Every day I'm a walking zombie. Cannot function beyond a basic level. I got diagnosed with a DD and a low dose of Adderall fixed this right up for me. Having to get up to go work just so I can pay bills until I die. I chose a lesser paying job just so I didn't hate my life when I woke up. I barely get by. I have no time, but I'm grateful I don't have to deal with Karens or other rich ass people with bad attitudes. Life's a bit harder, but I'm less stressed and sleep well at night. You're awesome Roy. Political ads. And on a related note, the amount of political mail I get is just insane. Such a waste of paper and resources. Also the text messages, thank goodness for the reporter's junk and delete feature on my phone. The price of rent being too goddamn high. My rent is more than a lot of my friend's mortgage payments at this point. But the bank says I can't afford to buy a house. Fuck me right. Yep a studio apartment is the same as our 20 year old mortgage, it's wild. News about Elon Musk, Kanye West, and fucking Donald Trump. You forgot Kyrie. They also forgot the Kardashians but I guess Kane touches on that lol. Elason. U.S. Politics. I'm sick of politics in general. In Ontario, we now have the federal and provincial politicians being idiots as well. I feel like politics anywhere and everywhere in general all over the world is a circus run by clowns. I'm so fucking sick and tired of the Photoshop. Show me something natural like Afro on Richard Pryor. Show me something natural like ass with some stretch marks. Cleaning this fucking apartment. It's just dishes, vacuuming, laundry, etc. every single day forever. <laughs> Verbal abuse. I'm a veterinary nurse at a charity practice and we all get shouted at and outright threatened far. Too often. Despite treatment being free. Registered vet tech here. I completely understand and you have my sympathies. Not to mention the pay sucks. You are doing tremendous deeds for little helpless souls who are voiceless. Fuck those piles of shite in skin suits and I hope whatever they say to you comes back to them. 100 fold. Thank you for the work you do. I have nothing but respect for you and all vet staff. Not being able to socialize and missing out on every good thing in person out there. Edit. If you've left a comment giving advice or just relating to me. Just know I have read every single one. I am just overthinking all my replies. Thanks very much. Anxiety is a bitch. It's not even anxiety for me. I guess I'm just sorta awkward. Social skills just aren't my strength. Makes finding a group or making friends hella hard. Responding to R, uh, ask credit posts because I have no friends and nothing better to do. You get the honesty award. My mind making me feel guilty about making big purchases. Feel that. Though for me it is very basic things like kitchen sponges or new pants. I hate the times we're living in and not being able to just fucking exist without bleeding money too. Faceless names with more money in their bank accounts right fucking now than I will see total for. The rest of my entire life. Yes. Exclamation mark. I hate having to decide whether I want to buy new kitchen sponges or more food. Food or gas for the car or transmission fluid etc. Inflation needs to fucking stop. Rich people acting like they know everything about living the life of the other 7 billion people in existence. I absolutely can't stand when celebrities do this. They lecture us on how to live our lives from their mansions staffed with a team of assistants. I really don't care about their opinions on anything. My period. I'm 49 and never having another child. This bleeding every month is fucking bullshit. I highly recommend uterine ablation.
I was having very heavy periods, so much so that I was dreadfully anemic. I had a quick and easy uterine ablation and my life was changed. This is not medical advice and everyone is different. Consult your doctor. My wife's ablation failed. It went well for for a couple of months but then hay bleeding came back just like before. She's now scheduled for a hysterectomy next month. I'm also 49. I got that trash heap of a uterus removed seven years ago and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Damn. I wish I had. Did you have any issues hormonally? I really want to. But I figure that once I finally get a date for surgery. It will have ended. Or the side effects would be worse.